look at legs. Legs are quite important to us, so we want to understand a little bit about them. So what is a leg? A leg is a hollow, stroke depression, cavity in the earthy surface in which water collects. Legs vary in size, depth, permanency, and mode of formation. What do we mean by here? That legs vary in size. There are some which are bigger, large, and some which are narrow and small. Some which are shallow, that's now we're talking about depth, and others are deep. Others are permanent, like we can talk about Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, Lake Edward. It has been there since time immemorial, since it was formed. And others come during rainy season and they dry up. We shall see oxbow legs drying up. So we are saying mode of formation. Legs vary in the way they are formed. We're going to look at fault legs. <coughs> We're going to, excuse me, we are going to look at crustal legs. We're going to look at glacial legs. We're going to look at um, lava dammed legs. We're going to look at man made legs. Those are the mode of formation. That's what we mean by mode of formation. So they vary. Legs on planet Earth are not formed by one process. No! They vary. Hope we understand that. We move on. So we are saying mode of formation of legs. We are saying there are two basic group of legs. Hmm? Those which are hollow, produced by earth movements, volcanicity, or erosion, and those produced by damming effect of material, deposited by either ice, water, or lava. Actually, we think the most common type here are those produced by the action of ice, as we shall see. So we in the mode of formation. Number one, fault legs or stroke lift divided legs. These are legs formed or formed at the lift divided flow. They are formed due to the faulting process after the formation of the main lift divided. Forces of tension and compression cause minor depression, known as grabbings, at the lift divided flow, which are filled up with water to form legs. For example, we have in East Africa, we have Lake Tanganyika, the longest and the deepest lake, is a fault lake, or a lift divided lake. We have Edward, George, Manyala, Rukwa, Albert, Kivu, Eyasi, Magadi, Malawi, Trukana, Mission, all found in East Africa. So these are the fault lakes, and we are saying they are formed within the Lift Valley. So all these are found in the Great Lift Valley of Africa, in East Africa. So we are saying, mode of formation. As you look at this illustration up here, it's trying to show us the formation of a Lift Valley. So we are saying, due to compression and tension, plates moves, causing a depression. Known as what? A lift valley. So, in the depression at the floor of the lift valley, that's where we get what we call the lift valley legs around here. So, we are saying that the flow happens to get minor depression. Which minor depression fill with water, the ones we see here, and then form what we call lifty valley legs. So it happens after the formation of a lifty valley and we're saying this is all caused by the process of faulting due to tension and compression forces pushing the plates opposite side or squeezing them during compression pulling them opposite side during tension and when they happen to cause what we call a lifty valley which is a depression. Minor depressions are still formed, known as grabbings, which are filled with water to form a lift valley lake. 
So what we see here uh, is a map to show us some of the examples of the liberty violations. The ones we have just talked about, on this other hand, this is the stretch of our Great Liberty Valley from the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia down to Tanzania, Malawi. So we are saying, here we have Lake Albert, Lake Edward, George around here, Kivu, Tanganyika, then the Lukwa, then the Malawi, then the Trukana. So these are the Lifty Valley lakes or the Fort Lakes. This one is just helping us to see the satellite view of our Lifty Valley lakes down here. Leave out Victoria, it's not a, a Lifty uh, lift Valley lake, it's not a Fort Lake, but I'm talking about these ones here. You can see that Tanganyika is the longest, actually it's a narrow, but deepest lake in East Africa. Then here, they're trying to bring out this illustration to help us understand. When you look at this phrase of this lake, this is our beautiful Albert. You can see that this is a scarp, and this is also a scarp. So we are saying it is within the Lifty Valley, the Great Lifty Valley, the the flow of the Lift Valley. So when you look at this, this is a scar, all this area here, and then this one here is also a scar, parallel to each other. But down here, hmm, where you see the lake is the lift valley floor. So it is filled with water forming what we call a lift valley lake or known as a fault lake. So this is the lift valley lake or the faulty lake. We move on to another type. We have what we call crustal warped lakes. These are lakes formed due to warping. So the warping process here leads to the formation of depression due to up warping and down warping. For example, the largest lake in Africa and the second largest in the world, known as Lake Victoria, was formed due to this process. So it is a crustal warped lake. Choga is another one. Wumala in Michana, Nakiva, Le Mission. Lake Chad in Africa, Chots in Tunisia. We just want to bring out those other examples. But in East Africa, we have Lake Victoria, we have Choga, we have Wamala, Nakiva, Le Mission. So these are crustal warped lakes. And what did the formation of these lakes? A process known as warping which led to the formation of a depression known as a benson due to up warping and down warping. 